Hi guys, my name is Björn and I would like to show you how I create my abstract background VJ loop, tunnel loop videos with Blender. If you like to create something something like this, uh, just uh, yeah, sh look at this video. Uh, I will uh, give a tutorial on how to and if you like it, just leave a thumbs up and yeah, let's start over with this tutorial. Um, first of all, um, I use Blender. Um, um, this is a free software everybody can use. And before we start, uh, let me check my screencast is on. Uh, everything I do is down below. I will switch over my camera to here so everything is here I hope this will have a good fitting over here maybe I just I'm not that very much important for this video so you can see everything okay let me check this uh, otherwise just leave a, a comment so uh, what is the idea the idea is we create a tunnel and we will move our camera from left to right on the screen line and we will put in some lights uh, in this tunnel and bring them a uh, bouquet style over here. Okay, that's the idea. So first of all, let's switch over and we want a round tunnel. I want it smooth outside and I want to Rotate it over here. It's on the green line. Okay, so what else do we want? Well, um, we switch over with edit to the edit mode and we delete the faces so we can look through this uh, cylinder. Okay, perfect. Next step, we increase the cylinder. I like it like 40. Okay, perfect. So, next step we bring the camera into the right position. Uh, first of all, everything on zero, zero, zero. Rotation zero, you see the camera over here. I bring it up to 90. You see it over here and bring it over here. Perfect, now the camera is looking in the right direction and now we bring it over to minus 40 and it's the camera is on the start of our uh, tunnel we, zero we can look inside okay nothing special but that's the first step so next step um, we create an axis here which is our light giver so I like it to give it a little bit smaller and next step, we want to shade this icosphere. Okay, let me check over here, switch over to um, shader editor, and we give this an emission shader. And let me check this. I like this color over here. We can mess around with this afterwards, just uh, in the beginning. Let's start with it. So, um, now we can see, uh, let me grab this light over here. Here's nothing special. Um, we head over to the um, engines. We are uh, rendering with Eevee. And now we want the bloom effect. And as you can see, when I increase the strength, there's more glowing, more blooming effect over here, okay? So, um, perfect, we leave it over here. So we now we br want to bring this icosphere into the tunnel. That's next step over here to the modifier properties. We want um, to add to the cylinder a um, particle system and we want to render from halo to object and to bring in the icosphere okay 
let's hit this and this and okay right now I, I bring it over to the camera nothing happened over here and we need to switch over to hairs okay and what we see here okay we have a kind of ring okay from the outside it does look like this and this is known as let me check where is it uh, you image from faces and the distribution is jittered is this is the ring style okay and when we switch over from jitter to random you see that these icosphere like bulbs are on a random pattern inside this tunnel okay next step um, um, I would like to change um, the settings I like to get to uh, high quality renders um, this is my render setting I would like to render my videos in 4k this is my resolution goes up to like this and like this and I like to have a smooth video so I switch over my frame rate to 60 per uh, second 60 frames per second and when we are here I would also like to change in this um, properties render property setting the color man management the um, view transformation the look over to very high contrast okay so perfect let's start with an animation for like one minute a one minute loop uh, this is uh, 60 seconds uh, this means 60 times 60 is 3600 frames perfect so now we have a, a rough setup now we want to do the animation what you are doing next is we will move the camera from the left hand side of the uh, circle tunnel over to the right hand side okay and this we do with keyframes um, our first frame will start over here in the first frame and we hit it with the right click and set a keyframe now we want to start a loop okay so i switch over here and push one on the right side and set the coordination over here to 40 meters and insert a key keyframe so what will happen let us check over here we see this is the beginning of our ride you see the camera is moving inside our tunnel and you can see it over here it goes to the right side okay and this is how it looks and now uh, we want to see some we want to change something to a, when we are here over at the very end you see that uh, we are leaving this tunnel okay so this is not a loop okay um, and we can fix this uh, when we expand this uh, tunnel and duplicate it it's like shift D and I have another tunnel I will put it on the right place over here and duplicate it three to four times more so we have when you're looking at the end uh, of our tunnel we want a little little tiny loop a, light, a tiny circle and um, so nobody will notice that we are looping here and I show you in, in a second so 240 zero and one more time zero 330 yes it is 330 I think yeah 330 no 320 meters on the coordination so perfect cool let's dive into I mean this tiny circle let's start with the beginning okay now we can see it moving okay perfect Um, what we also can change over here is uh, the world setting you see right here it's, it's something like gray let's change it over to black 
we get a much more contrast over here and what else I would like to change is the cylinder and so the inside of the stone and this is how you would like to change it okay you can mess around as uh, everything you like I would like to bring it down and also maybe you can see over here roughness high and low so when we switch over metallic it's like a mirror mirror effect uh, this does not look very good because my viewport settings are, are uh, on low but what I would like to do is put down the metallic and so something like this okay it should, it should be fine okay um, perfect the next step what I would like to do is to change a um, you know the bokeh effect okay and we will change it on the camera settings over here and uh, this is okay happens when there is a deep of field when there is sharp areas and not so sharp areas and we want to play with this and on the camera settings we can say okay where is the focus point it's far away it's more be, uh, in front of us let me check it over here I uh, will start at our first frame so here you see how much light and how, how sharp it goes with the S add stuff so you see okay and what I would like to do is I like it sharp in the very beginning and not so very sharp in the background okay let's something like this okay we can play around you can you can play around with it however you like and I will bring it over here perfect cool now we have our tunnel vision loop uh, what I would like to do is to increase the number of bulbs over here and yes I mess around with this yeah, that looks good okay perfect cool 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 yeah and with this short video uh, you see uh, you can create your own tunnel loop and have the first um, yeah you have a basic with you ever you can mess around with if you're interested in this kind of videos just leave a comment um, if you have any certain questions there's a comment section if you like it thumbs up uh, subscribe and yeah, we will see us in the next video. And if you're interested uh, in this um, data, uh, I will leave a link um, to all these um, things I use over here. Perfect, thank you, have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.